Okay, I'm back. Um, oh shoot, I, let me get the, my other my other computer so I can take a look at how the stream is. Oh yes, I also need to change this. Let's play pop for mail. Hello. I also need to change the name of the game because we are no longer broadcasting Mario. Oh, there is an entry for pop for mail. Alright, now the game is correct and the tears have stopped flowing. Okay, so I'm going to, yes it says no signal, I'm turning it on, give me a second. And make sure, let me know if you can hear the game audio, but I believe you should be able to. Oh man, Sega CD. In case you guys don't know anything, this is a classic, C this is a classic right here. Uh, let me try to adjust my... Yeah, the angle will be a little different than normal and my face might not look... But, uh... Can you hear the game audio? Okay, I guess I'll take that as a yes. Okay, first we're gonna watch the intro because this is actually gonna go... I'll shut up now, but... Yeah, most people aren't familiar with it because it was before their time and my time as well. This is actually Carlin's completely new to me. Stone wall at Shikra, tell of a time beyond memory. Look at those graphics. A time of world shattering war. When the brave and the desperate rose up against the three masters of evil. They were Morgal, Lord of Beasts, who sent savage armies over the land. Necros, master of war, who incited all man to rage eternal. I love that stock sound effect from and, and you can hear that Starcraft the too. Lord, who blackened the world with his foul magic. You know this dub is before like love. The dub actors are a little bit different than what and they're elves, used to. Dwarves and beasts. All inhabitants of the world oh, walked in hopeless fever battle against a black fate. Raging like a great fire, insanity swept across the land with the ferocity unmatched in all history. It is quite different from nowadays, right? <laughs> this is the 1990s, but guys. 93 or 94? This is actually from Falcom, who makes the E series, defeat. even now to this day. Humiliated, they retreated to a place outside of time, and a black seal was crafted to prevent their return. Uh, I don't really know, not care much thought, about this lore, but it's just very tall. to tell the story. A dwarf, an elf, and a king. In case you're wondering, this is the controller Though their names the were lost Genesis. in the mists of time, their labor stands yet today. For the <laughs> you were one year old. Fast, yeah, I know. Protecting mankind hey, it's okay. I was from like certain seven, destruction eight. <laughs> at the hand of the Overlord. And this game is localized by Working Designs, who's kind of like the Ixseed of this era, really. I mean, like, or Ixseed or an Atlas, but they were localizing weird RPGs and dubbing them. And they've, they've done some controversial decisions, but generally, like, it's pretty... They've been... They have really good work and they really care about the product. I think the founder now is makes a company called Gaijin Works, and I think the last thing they made was uh, Class of Class of Heroes is what the next thing, which is like a kind of like an Etrian Odyssey. Yeah, this game is from 1993, uh, and of course the translation came out in '94, so I was way too young. I did not have a Sega CD, and I never heard of this game until like what 2000 and. 13! Yeah! <laughs> 2013 was the first time I've ever heard of this game. And so, without further ado, I guess we should get started. I mean, this is going to be more similar to playing a PS3 RPG, except with much worse graphics. And much more 90s graphics. Okay, let's get out of here. There's nothing else to show.
and loading times. Ah, yeah, CD technology. Okay, so the first thing is I am not actually going to continue my game. I'm actually going to start it all first, all the way from the beginning. So this is a let's play, and I'm actually going to put up most of this. No, I'm going to put up all of this let's play on YouTube because there's nobody else playing it, really. And I guess I'll be one of the few LPs that have my face on it. <laughs> so I guess I'll remember the time, all the memories I shared playing this game. And I think I can beat this. It's supposed to be beatable in 8 hours, so it's not very long. It's a good one to warm up for the Chinese RPG, which I'm going to do after this one. But uh, yeah, let's get started and let's watch the kooky intro with all the fan service, which you will see in a second. I, I really love you fan down, you little criminal! Ah, yeah. ah, ah. Copying this stream and putting it onto YouTube. One to go. Kind of unedited. <laughs> Look at those 90s anime expressions. Get a load of this, you miscreants! Take that! Yes. The Chinese game will be pretty old, actually. It will be the first in a long standing series. So it's gonna look like a. Look at the FMVs, man. You can run, but you can't hide! I've got you now, Nutscracker! Your choice! Nuts Dead or alive, I still get the half a million gold reward! Hey, you are real funny girl! It's, you make me laugh! Hey, you I like a good joke? Her outfit is kind of fancy. Oops, Boomba. I don't think that thing is safe. So much for that. Hey, ya Boomba, you want to my head? Oh, head for your fence! Now he has it. He just cut off his head! As you can tell, this game is not very serious. He's a bonus big game. Get ready for a big surprise! A new poster just went up on the town's bounty board. A renegade magician turning some bad tricks. Got an uncommon big reward on him. Great! Thanks for the tip! Alright. I hope we get this. Anyway, this intro's pretty long, but we'll get to the game pretty soon. I've already played a little bit, so Move I know... Move it! Coming through! Step aside! Hmm. With a capture of the notorious magician Muttonhead, a reward is offered in the sum of two million gold. But we gotta to actually do the job, Missy. Her name is Puffle Mail, in case you were wondering. Little 
hear it soon. All right, now the intro's over, and I can finally do something. Ah, a modern game before there were modern games. Okay, so this is the world map, and I only can go in one direction. So let's go. Oh, oh, that's right. The automatic music. And to save, I press not this, not this button, but this button. Yes, the C button opens the menu, and I can look at a bunch of. I can look at a bunch of stuff. I don't have anything. I. I can eat an apple if I need health, but I'm pretty okay right now. My items are good, I have elixirs. And... I'm gonna save. I'm going to save first. Uh, I might as well save over the old one, I don't really care, I didn't get that far. This is a blind... oops. This is gonna be... This is gonna be kind of a blind playthrough, so I don't know anything about this game other than the fact that her name's Popful Man. So this will be my first time... So I'll be just as lost as you guys will be. And I think that's gonna, hopefully that will be more fun to watch. Because you'll watch me make really new mistakes. But I'm not a let's player. Or I'm not a speedrun. And I do, certainly don't speedrun this game. Die, and die. So yes, this is a platformer RPG. So every ki enemy I kill, I get gold and EXP. Die, and die. So far it's not too, these guys are pretty easy. Is this like an adventure game? I guess, but it's like, it's like, think about like, it's like, it's like, um, it, oh. Hey! Hey you! Help! Oh. Who's... What was that? It, it sounded, um, like... Hey! Are you blind or something? Up in the tree, you dunderhead! Perfect. I'm a thunderhead. Huh? Oh! What in the world are you doing up there? What is he doing? Well, there were all these monsters chasing me. There must have been a hundred of them, and, and they had bulging eyes, and, and huge teeth, and, and then they chased me up this tree, and, and, and then the spider dropped down. He almost killed me, but I cut his thread. I have a pocket knife, you know, and then, and then, well... I don't think a it's pocket knife. No down. wonder you were not safe. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm Slick. Well, actually, Slick Jr. the third. But you can call Junior me Slick. Third. I'm from the village at the bottom of the jungle. Say, uh, can you give me some help here? Like, today? Well, Slick, why'd you leave your village in the first place? Hey, I was just looking for a little fun and adventure. But I guess my pocket knife just doesn't cut it out here. Yeah. Say, Whatever. why do you take me with you? I bet you have lots of adventures. Why else would you have such a huge sword? Um, excuse me? You're confused. I'm a bounty hunter, not a babysitter, bub. You're on your own. What? Yeah, deal with it. I ain't taking you. All right. So let's see if I can get. Actually, I can get up there. I will. Why not? And this is not really RPG. Like, if you know, I have EXP and all that stuff. Like, yeah, this is not a turn-based RPG. Sorry, I'm not playing Persona right now. That will be the next game will be a turn-based RPG, and actually that might be more suited. But you, the next game will be in Chinese, so I'll have to translate on the fly as well. It won't be quite as fast-paced as I'm doing this game. Hi, you have anything to say to me? I guess you don't have anything to say. Deal with it. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you alone. Then. I kill you about my business. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just gonna kill them all, and hopefully I find a magician and get some. I found an apple. Well, I don't need health. I haven't taken a hit. Uh, what do I do now? I think I just go to the right. Die, die. Grinding, grinding. Okay. Uh, yeah, you guys. These magicians are useless. They don't kill. They don't hurt me. Oh, there's a spider. Lol. <laughs> Anyone? Okay. No, you're not casting a spell. Deal with it. Oh, what does this sign say? Danger ambush zone. That doesn't sound good. Oh well! <laughs> Go in there and... What does it say here? Elf village ahead. Enter next hole. Okay. Yeah, these enemies aren't really giving me much of a problem right now. Ow! I... How... What, what did I hit? Alright. Uh, let's see how much, uh, I've got. 